Hello, welcome back to the Fish Locker Workshop. I want to take some time now to talk you through the types of braid that I use. The different brands, uh, the different uses, the pros and the cons, and the, the, my general observations of them, what I've found, what I've learned, why I think I use different ones for different reasons. Um, to start off with, most of my fishing, my light fishing on fixed ball reels and with like my Daiwa sloshes, all I usually use is just Power Pro. Now, Berkeley Whiplash or this Power Pro, I think is, is perfect. It's, as you can see, it's low diameter. It's decent for abrasion resistance. It's, um, I've, I've not had any that's had any, uh, whenever I wind a lot onto us, when, whenever I ride uh, a new spool of line onto my reel, I always check it all the way through. I've never had any problem with quality control or anything like that. You get a uh, fantastic line lay. There's not much to tell you. Zero stretch, decent for abrasion resistance, relatively cheap and still really good. I use it for, I use 25 pound on my spinning reels for my low stuff or like my slow jigs, my savage gear reels. At the same time, this light line stuff is what I do my bass fishing with, uh, live baiting for pollock, things like that, or ras fishing. I also use this on the shore for if I'm, if I'm fishing for bass, bream. You can go lighter, but I generally think that um, not only am I always going to err on the side of caution thinking, oh, I would rather land that fish then think oh yeah i can get away with 15 pound line and get snapped off and have a real good story or i'd rather land the fish and be able to say look what i just caught you can see the difference here straight away this is this is power pro another brand that i use is called spectra now spectra is the stuff that you can order from china it's um not much to say about it it's dirt cheap you can get, I think this was like 1500 meter spool and this is like, I think this is like 60 or 70 pound. It cost me about 12 quid. It takes like six weeks to get here, but it was dirt cheap. Now this, this isn't that, this is 30 pound. But you can see straight away the difference in diameter between that and that, can't you? One almost looks like string in comparison. That's what you get. You get what you pay for. Now this won't break. You can anchor a boat with this stuff. This Spectra stuff is fantastic. And it is dirt cheap. So I have this on my conga rod. On my, on my wrecking gear and my conga stuff. The stuff where I'm going to be fishing into the really snaggy stuff. Where I'm potentially going to be losing quite a bit of line. From snags, from rubs, from all that. I don't want to be using the doubly expensive stuff. I just want to be using the strong stuff that's cheap. So... My heavy reels for like my ling fishing, my conga fishing, my wrecking, that's got spectra on it. Coincidentally, um, fished recently with Kev McKay on Size Matters. He uses spectra for all of his big stuff. So all of his skate fishing that he was doing, where you saw him all in, in all his 200 pound skate, that's all on spectra. Lots of the charter boats are going with spectra just because it's so cheap. If you're using these reels every day and you're getting loads of punters that are losing loads of line in all the wrecks and all the rocks, you don't want to be loading all the reels with all the expensive stuff like this, it's going to cost you a fortune. They just want something that's, that's strong. You will, you will have to use more lead when you're using that Spectra, just because it's got a higher diameter. Not only that, but I've found that when I guide it onto my multiplier, when I'm reeling it in, I always guide it on with my thumb so you get an even line lay. It is quite rough. I've found that it burns into my thumb. So all that means I do is I just wrap an elastoplast around my thumb before I go fishing. So all I do is it just just like a guard. Yeah, talked about the bird, talked about the spectra. Um, my sharking. My sharking with like a carbo reel, with a big fixed bowl reel. You're talking high-end stuff. I use Daiwa J braid, which is this. It's expensive, but it is very high quality. Uh, fantastic, uh, fantastic diameter, fantastic strength. I also have some of the 103 pound. My sharking is 60 or 70 pound line on my fixed bowl rods. I have uh, a very big setup for very big fish. 
and I use 100 pound, 103 pound Daiwa J braid because it has a very low diameter and it is very high quality. I mean, you look at the difference here. Uh, sorry, where was I looking? There's one here. This, the thickness of this. 0.28 is 30 pound. This stuff is 0.4 and it's 100 pound. So it's less than half as big and yet you're three times as strong. That shows you the difference between what you're paying for really high quality. Uh, you can't say no more about it. You generally you get get what you pay for this. I like, um, on my sharking reel, I like to have multicolored line, which is like this. This is Spectra, but you can see it's got different colors. So like every 10, every 10 feet or 10 yards, it's a different color. So that when a fish is running, if your, color, if your line was all the same colour when it was running, you'd never know how much line had gone off the rail. Whereas if you can see yellow, green, blue, red, yellow, green, blue, if you know that seven colours have passed, it's taken 70 yards, if that makes sense. Uh, my shore reels, my, my beach casters. I got, uh, I got recommended some line. I hadn't used it before, and I got it recommended by the guys at Jerry's Fishing. And it was that Berkeley fire line. Now it came quite well recommended, um, so I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, one of the things that I noticed when I was first putting on the spool is, you can see like this is almost like string. Or you go to this stuff and this is, it's got no real memory in it. This fire line had almost like a waxy quality to it. Fantastic for abrasion resistance, I'd had that same I'd had that same leader and that same um, same leader knot on for God knows probably six months until my leader ended up being that short that I had to cut it off and start again. Now I have found that the end hundred yards now now that the the waxy coating has left it's just like normal braid. Now I don't know if that's weakened it or what, but when I do an extra long cast or when I'm on the boat and I let a, a lot more line off than usual, I find that the uh, the waxy coating's still on there. It's good. Uh, I, I can't tell you any much more about it because I've, I've, I've only really tried it a couple of times from the shore, on the wrecks, on the boat. It's strong stuff. Uh, but I couldn't tell you I couldn't tell you either way between one of these or one of these which one to get. I like them both. Um, what have we got? Power Pro for my sloshes and my spinning reels because it's strong and low diameter and yet relatively cheap. Uh, for my high-end stuff, where, where I really need it to count, like for my, my big sharks and that, I go with Daiwa J-Braid, which is this. For my beach casting reels, I've got Berkeley Fireline on one, and I've actually got uh, Whiplash on the other one. I like Whiplash. It comes highly recommended from, from other folks as well. There's, there's not much about it. The only ones that I will not use, and that's from my own personal experience, is uh, spider wire. I got a spool of spider wire one time, and every single time I cast it out, as soon as a fish struck, it snapped. And then I ended up thinking, what, what Christ is up with this? So I tried it a few times, and I got a few pieces, and I could pretty much snap it with my hands, and it was supposed to be 30 pound. I'll never use spider wire again. Uh, Spectra. There is another one that uh, someone's just recommended to me that I've ordered that's supposed to be fantastic and it's called Agepoc, which is A-G-E-P-O-C-H. It's a lot like Spectra. It's one of these cheaper ones that's come from China. Now, uh, it's going to be slightly higher diameter, but it's strong and it's cheap. So if you're just wanting one for like your wrecking reel, where you've, you can get a spool of like 2,000 metres, so all you need to do is, you go on a trip and if you lose 200 yards of it, you just just chin it off, just take it all off, put it in the bin, re-spool it again, and it's cost you pennies rather than 20 quid. There you go. I use um, 20 to 25 pound for my lure fishing, just because it's in the kelp. If I, get a lure, if I get a lure hooked up into a kelp stalk, I want to be able to pull the kelp stalk out. I don't want to lose my lure every time. Um, for my sloshes, which is my relatively shallow fishing in anchor or fishing on the drift or my feathering, I've got 30 to 40 pound um, Berkeley, sorry, Power Pro braid on. Uh, for my heavy stuff, Spectra in 60 to 70. For my sharking, I have 
I think it's 70 pound Daiwa J braid. For my very big stuff, I have a 100 pound J braid. Just because if, uh, if I'm ever gonna be hooking into that absolute monster, like say for instance, one of those really big mackerel that, that turn up every year or, or something like that, I really don't want my line to fail me. So I'm, I'm prepared to pay that little bit extra just for the little bit extra security. There isn't much more to tell you. I hope this has been helpful. Um, if any of you have any comments or anything that you'd like like to recommend, or anything that you would um, that you would like to tell people to avoid and the reasons why, please get in touch. Please let me know. Please leave your reasoning in the comments because it's great for people reading, great for people watching the, the videos to read the comments to find out other people's opinions, because we're all out there to help each other. This is it. These are the braids that I use. I have a nice day.